Hello there and welcome back to Build with the Boys and happy Halloween to one and all. Our friends over at JM Bricklayer have very kindly sent us a model to build and review and something spooky just in time for Halloween. It is the Flying Dutchman. This is a beautiful thing. This comes in at 1100 pieces. It's got a light kit as well as glow in the dark elements. So this thing's going to look beautiful at night as well and particularly spooky with a nice green glow. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this. We did one before from JM Bricklayer where we did the money tree. It was a lot of fun, a very clever design. So something spooky for Halloween, you bet I'm into it. If you want one of these yourself, there is a link down below, including a 10% discount code in there for you as well. So you click on that, get yourself some money off. It's very nice indeed. Um, without further ado, let's crack this one open and let's get it built. Okay, so here is the Dutchman. Now, one thing I particularly like about JM Bricklayer is there is no waste of packaging at all. So this is, if it's anything like the last one, it's, yeah, it is. This is full. So they are, they're making use of every inch of the packaging here, and beautifully so. Um, see, we got all of our, uh, got our sails there. Exciting. I love a pirate ship and a ghost ship to boot. Come on, man. Got our instruction manual here. It's nice. It tells you all the, there you go. Small differences between the parts. Gives you a good guide. Gives you a good color guide as well. Fantastic. Uh, so we are building, let's have a look. One, two, three, four. There's four stages to this. So that'll help. Um, let's, let's get this one dumped out. Let's see. There's so much. See how much is packed into this one box. That's a, that's a beautiful thing because there's so much wasted packaging these days. But we got all these and then all the bags are numbered as you can see. So we got our bags ones together. Crack them open. We'll get the bag ones built. Let's take a look at uh, how, uh, how we're proceeding. We are on our very first step on the journey. But what I wanted to show you is they do include one of these. Now this is so useful so you've got this piece here which will pry up bits that are stuck down if you make any mistakes this piece here you can touch on and pull off and then you've also got there so you can push um the technic pins in and out it's always nice when a company includes one of these so i'm um, very happy to show you that let's get this built let's take a look so that's bag one complete and there's a lot in in one uh line. i mean you can get an idea of the width of the ship we're not talking huge so we're not building like a massive galleon for minifigs and whatnot this is going to be a very nice display piece Something for a shelf, something for a desk. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our actual Halloween uh, decor. The cannons along the side are genius in their simplicity. They're really nice. Uh, the front of the, the ship's looking good. Um, it's nice, this dark green and the black and the grey, I think, is going to work together quite nice. We started the light kit already, so we've already got one light that's going to light the bottom up. Um, this thing's going to look good, I think. I genuinely do. I think this is going to look... Uh, the amount of lights that are going to go into this is going to kick off quite a bit of light as well. So um, let's crack on bag two and uh, see how we get on. We are with stage two of the Dutchman complete, and it's really coming to life now. You see, we've got the sleeping quartz touched to the side there. We have another light that's added to the center. It's going to be a very eerie, eerie green, green glow. We've got the seaweed that's taken over the ship. Um, we've started the chains here as well. It's looking great. It's looking really nice. Um, and it's so solid. I mean, that's the thing as well. This is a solid, solid uh, model. This isn't going anywhere. So it's looking really nice. Um, stage three is up next, and we are going to be focused on the stern of the ship um so a lot of the um a lot of the uh build up is going to happen on this section it's looking uh, it's looking really nice stage three complete now we've added a lot more to the back here you can see it's looking gorgeous it really is we've hidden the wires away all the wires tuck into there uh, and then ultimately they will come out into a usb connect so use a power bank or whatever it is you need to use plug it into the uh to wherever you can get a, a USB charge. Um, it's looking gorgeous. We've got the front here as well. So we've got this front section added to this. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be completing more along here. Um, and we're also adding the mass and the rig in. And stage four will be complete. And then we're going to take a look at it. We're going to light this up. I've tested the lights. They all work. They look stunning. There is a lot of light comes off this model. Um, so we'll get that done and then we'll take a look. So here is the completed model. And beautiful it is. I mean, the last stage really, really brings us to life when the masks go in. Look at this thing, the sails are beautiful. The front of this is just, it just looks vicious. It's um, its a beautiful thing, it really is. Look at these, so nice. So we do all the rig in for it as well. We come around the back here, you can see what we've made here. It's gorgeous, it's really, really nice. And for a, a display piece, it's the perfect size as well. This isn't too unwieldy, this isn't too big. If you're looking at around about 16 inches, I'd say in length. It's um, it's a gorgeous thing, and for display purposes, it's not a humongous galleon, you know. It's it's a good size for display. It's really good. Now you're gonna want to see it light up, aren't you? Well, I've got a power bank here, so I'm gonna try and do this one-handed. 
but hopefully we can plug this in and light this up because the the light off this is remarkable there we go there we go so you can see just how bright those lights are coming off now it's lit underneath as well so you can see these cannon bills were, were genius so the way the cannons are built uses very innovative kind of it's, it's smart right i wouldn't have thought to build cannons like that we have the glow there we have this flame pit here it's gorgeous it's really nice it's so nice and then along the bottom here we have these decals these decals here glow in the dark so they have glow in the dark ink on them so those will light up as well so even when you don't have the lights on it will still glow it is it's stunning it's really really nice i'll be i'll openly admit when i first started building this when i thought mm, not sure about this because it seemed very blocky it seemed very square but nope um it really does it really does become something beautiful look at that Absolutely gorgeous. Let's have a chat. Ghost ship complete. This is the JM Bricklayer Flying Dutchman, and it is gorgeous. It's really nice. I mean, you can. Oh, I want to pick this one up without. There we go. Look at this. So the, you can see when I'm holding it here, you can see, look at the light coming off that. The size of this is is display shelf worthy. So I mean, you don't have to have masses of display, but it gives you the chance to have one of these light up galleons that doesn't consume all of your space. It's a perfect thing that can go on a desk, it can go on a shelf. Gorgeous. Um, absolutely lovely. Spooky green lights. Now, I've built a Dutchman before. I built one which was kind of a foam board one. I've got to admit, this one lights up so much better than that one. Uh, this is a much, much smaller manageable model, which is probably going to take the place of the other one. Um, but that's absolutely, it's it's a gorgeous thing. It's available now, so you can get it from the um, the JM Brick uh, Layer site, which the link is down below. You can also get it from Amazon. Down below as well, you'll also find a 15% discount code. I said 10%, that means 15%. This one retails for $59.99 US dollars. Little a little less in, in UK, um, but there's free shipping from the global site. Plus your 15% discount code, you're getting a bargain. So check below, you'll see where that is. But I recommend this one. This is a lot of fun. I mean, for the price point as well, it's exactly where it needs to be because the fact that this comes with a lighting kit is, is a massive difference what you pay from um, the other big company. But this is, um, this is a gorgeous thing. There's some really clever build techniques in this as well. Like I said with the cannons, how the cannons go together and then their overall look is amazing. When I first built them, I thought, yeah. But then when you see them together, I'm like, wow, that actually really works. That looks really good. There are some very, very clever build techniques for staircases, the front with the teeth of the kind of Dutchman. It's great. A lot of these things made me smile as I was doing it. I'm thinking, I don't understand what this is for. And then when it goes together, I was like, that's really clever. And it gave me a smile. Like, they pulled the wool over my eyes because I thought, I, I can't see how this is ever going to work. And it really does. Um, what a lovely set. What a lovely thing. Jay and Bricklayer have an absolute ton of models on their site. So there is genuinely something for everyone. They have everything from figures to swords to cars to military to you name it, it's there. So swing on by. And that code will work for everything. It's not just for the Dutchman. That 15% code will give 15% across the entire site on all non-sale items. But um, swing on over and get yourself one. That was a really fun, spooky build to do for Halloween. But it would look great all year round. If you've got a pirate theme going on, it's going to crush it, that one. The light. I'm looking at the light now. It's smiling because the green light. You can see it glowing in my glasses. Beautiful thing. You can contact us at buildingtheboysoutlook.com for any questions any news anything you want to tell us show us whatever you want we're we're there if you're building this and you get stuck on a part email me and i'll help you out or message down below and i'll help you where i can if you haven't yet please remember to like and subscribe it helps our channel massively we'll be back very soon with more builds from building with the boys until then in a world where you can be anything at all just be nice and i will see you very very soon take care